Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the instrument cluster on the VW Polo. This also applies to the Vento and Rapid as well. Now I've changed the cluster on my car from the stock one to the top and highline one from the Polo GTI back in 2014. The tachometer goes all the way up to 8000 rpm which is meant for the petrol engines whereas the tachos on diesels go till 6000 rpm but it doesn't matter here because the cluster reports the rpm just fine so this is a very simple uh, exchange and uh, i'm going to show you the step-by-step -step procedure of how to go about doing it so stay tuned now before you start any work related to electrical systems on the car it's always a good idea to disconnect the negative terminal of the battery so please disconnect the negative terminal of the battery before you commence the job First up, remove the steering cowl. Just pull up uh, from this uh, gap here and uh, pull it out. Now you have two T20 torx screws there. You can see the two T20 torx screws here. This is one, this is the second one. Use a magnetic uh, screwdriver for the job because there's a good chance that the screws may fall into the steering column below and it will be a pain to retrieve it once the screws are out uh, slide the cluster to the sideways to expose the t32 connector so this is the t32 connector here what you need to do is press this uh, tab so it will pop up the purple tab there and uh, gently slide the tab uh, to the top that will disconnect the connector from the cluster and your cluster is free we'll uh, connect the cluster back insert the 32 pin connector at the rear replace the coal back the top coal That completes the activity. Now we'll connect the battery. So do the usual uh, basic settings like for the windows uh, up and down uh, three times from the master uh, driver console. So it automatically goes up and down. Uh, there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys. Your trip rating uh, basically gets reset. Your odometer doesn't because uh, it gets uh, returned to an EEPROM. So that doesn't get reset. So please keep this in mind. You'll have to redo the clock settings, etc. And uh, your uh, efficiency, your fuel efficiency and all that will get calculated once you get the car running. So don't worry about that. Uh, guys, just wanted to give a heads up here. If you intend to change the cluster, you'll have to rely on your authorized service center or someone capable of coding and adapting the cluster to your car. This involves adapting and matching the keys of your car to the immobilizer unit, which is built into the cluster. When I did this swap, I had removed the stock cluster and sent it along with the spare key to a retrofitter from whom I had sourced the GTI cluster. He had adapted the odometer reading from the old cluster and matched the key with the immobilizer unit. So please keep this in mind. So that's about it. I hope you guys um, like this uh, video. Let me know if you have any doubts and uh, I'd be more than glad to answer. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, thanks for watching.